What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be editing this computer screen transition. So for this one, you want the video clip that you're transitioning to playing on the screen that you're filming at the time. And then you also need the video clip that you're transitioning to on the timeline. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the point on this video clip and cut it where the video clip on the screen just touches one of the edges on the new project. And then I'm going to create a marker. So pressing M on my keyboard. And now I'm going to find the exact same point on this video clip on the real video clip and also create a marker there, pressing M on my keyboard. And then I'm going to drag this underneath my video clip and line up the two markers just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to select, select the top video clip, go to the distort tool over here and hit the keyframe button at the marker go back a few frames and then hit the keyframe button again, then go to the marker and I'm going to stretch the video clip out so that it fills, so that the video clip on the screen fills the new screen. And if you hold down command on the keyboard, then you can move these freely without it locking to the guidelines. And now we have like a hard cut into the real, real video clip. We can cut this even more. So that works pretty well, but we have this kind of hard cut of the video screen going to the HD video clip. And you can sort of tell because of the change in quality and the reflections of the computer screen, it doesn't look as good. So to get a nice blend, what we can do is add a mask. But first what I need to do is select the HD video clip go to the distort tool, click the keyframe button there, go back a few frames and use the distort tool to squeeze this down so that it matches the corners of the video clip on the screen, going through the frames and making sure it sticks to that video clip. Okay. So once that is distorted, to match the video clip on the screen. Then, then I need to add a mask to the top layer. So select the top video clip and I'm going to go to the effects and go to masks and then add the draw mask and just draw a mask around the video clip on the screen. And then I'm going to invert that one and change the feather. And then put the fill opacity to 0%, hit the keyframe button, move along a few frames, turn the fill opacity up so that this slowly reveals the video clip underneath. So now the video clip starts blending on uh, nice and smooth, but to get rid of the rest of it, what I'm going to do is just add a cross dissolve to the end of this. So select the end of it. I'm going to hit command T which is the default cross dissolve transition, make this really small. And now we have like a smooth fade from the computer screen to the real HD rendered out video clip. And then if you want to do that in the reverse, it's just the same steps. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.